What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. In this video, I will be giving you my Jose Ucatage versus Caleb Plant breakdown and prediction. That IBF or yeah, that IBF super middleweight title fight goes down January 13th, this Sunday night on Fox Sports 1, a premier boxing champions card. This is a very intriguing fight. By many people, this is a 50-50 fight. You know, by all accounts, this is a pretty evenly matched fight. Um, you have Jose Ugatage, the power puncher who has a very underrated skill set. He's defeated um, Andre Durrell once, should have been twice, but that's neither here nor there now. That is all in the past. He's got past that chapter in his career, and now he's on to his second title defense. And you have Caleb Plant, his opponent, from Nashville, Tennessee, former kickboxer, is a puncher, or is a boxer puncher, 17-0 with 10 knockouts. Uh, call him Sweet Hands. I interviewed him this past week. I'll post a link in the description box below so you can check that uh, interview out. Uh, but, you know, he's very confident heading into this matchup. He feels that he's the superior fighter, as you'll hear from our interview. Um, I believe he has the faster hands. Uh, I think he has the better footwork. Um, but Jose Ugatage has fought better competition. You know, he's fought Matt Korobov. He's fought, um, you know, Andre Durrell twice. Andre Durrell is a, a former Olympic bronze medalist uh, in the 2004 Olympics. Uh, one of the best fighters um, in boxing in his era, even though he's underachieved as a professional and hasn't, you know, obtained the goal of winning a world championship just yet. Um, Ugatage in that fight showed the ability to cut the ring off. Um, he has excellent punch placement. Um, very good body puncher. Shown to have a sturdy chin, but was bothered by some shots from Andre Durrell in his matchups. He can, um, become a seek and destroy type fighter once he gets you hurt. He comes forward. He does come forward, but behind that, he has a solid jab. He's long. He's rangy. I think he's like 6'2, 6'3. Um, he's a orthodox fighter and he can punch with either hand. He has very good timing with his left hook. Like I said, he has very good punch placement, very accurate, very precise, sits down on his punch as well and is extremely confident. And you know, the old saying, once you become a champion, you know, you get even better just because your confidence, the belief in yourself goes through the roof because you now accomplish your long, um, you know, your long time goal become a champion. Although he didn't look so stellar in his first title defense against the guy, I forget his name. He didn't look good in that fight at all. But maybe that was just a, a product of him fighting down in his competition. Maybe he's the type of guy that needs to be um in the ring with guys close to or on his level for him to perform at his absolute best and if that's the case we can expect a terrific uh performance by him because Caleb Plant is definitely a quality super middleweight um in a crowded division as far as Caleb Plant Caleb Plant is like I said he's a boxer puncher he's slick he has good foot movement good upper body movement in his fight with Porky Mendina he showed that he could sit down in the pocket exchange some big shots take a punch while still staying true to himself, which is boxing and movement. Um, he shows some ability on the ropes to, you know, slip, uh, counter, um, with his backs on the rope, with his, with his back on the ropes, which pulled, you know, which bowed well for him. And a lot of people wanted to see that, um, before they just, you know, um, you know, crown him a guy that can really be a champion. You know, they had to see it against a tough veteran. Porky Medina has been in the ring with Lucian Butte, I believe Badu Jack, um, you know, uh, who was David Benavidez, <laughs> you know, the list goes on. He's a very, very experienced fighter. And I think that <coughs> um, that fight with Medina for playing did a lot of things for his confidence, a guy already confident. But now going into unknown territory against a guy who, Lives for the knockout. He loves to knock you out. He punished Andre the Real. He punished um Julian Jack uh Julian Jackson's son. Uh 
I forget which Jackson it is. It ain't John, so I think it's Julian. Yeah, Julian, they call him the chef. He punished him. I think he knocked him out in the first round. He's. I think he also fought uh, Porky Mendina, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know in the comment section down below uh, if Ugatage and Medina fought. But, you know, um, Ugatage, Ugatage, excuse me, he comes forward behind a jab. Very good body work. And he's going to have to do that against Plant. He can't allow Plant to become uh, comfortable, get in the rhythm, you know, dictate the pace, set the tempo. Um, he's going to have to close that real estate early and often. He's going to have to rip those body shots early to start the breakdown process of Plant from round one until whenever, um, you know, that momentum may shift and it comes to that breaking point. You know, he can't allow Caleb Plant to pop that that quick jab off, you know, fire off those combinations, turn him, you know what I'm saying? He got to make this a rough fight. He has to make Plant sit in the pocket and take punishment, rip those body shots. He has to get him on the ropes. He has to make Plant fight his type of fight. And while Plant is confident and he did sit down in the pocket more um, against Mendina than he has done so far in his young career, Medina passed his prime and isn't the puncher that Ugatage is. Ugatage is a terrific puncher. Um, and with his punch pr uh, placement and accuracy, that makes him even more of a dangerous puncher. Um, for Plant to be, you know, successful, he's going to have to keep Ugatage at the end of his jab. He's going to have to constantly turn Ugatage. He's going to have to go to his, um, Ugatage's right to avoid the left, the left hook. I believe that is the best punch that Uga, Ugatage possesses. Although he's ca capable with the right hand, I think his left hook is the most damaging. Ax Andre Durrell. Um, so he's gonna have to circle to Ugatage's right. Um, and avoid that big left hook. He's gonna have to stay off the ropes. He's gonna have to minimize his exchanges with Uz, uh, Uzgatage. He's gonna have to fire off combinations. He's gonna have to be focused from the moment this, the bell rings to the moment the fight ends. You know, he's gonna have to, you know, use that athleticism, use that footwork to put him in position to be able to counter and, you know, have excellent punch placement, placement on his punches. He's gonna have to sit down on his punches as well. He's gonna have to be selective when he decides to trade and slug it out with Uz Ukatage, who, like I said, can't stress it enough, is a murderous puncher. One of the hardest hitters at 168. So, with all that being said, man, I'm going to roll with Caleb Plant. I think Caleb Plant um, is a good fighter, has the potential to be a very good fighter. He's supremely confident. Ugatage didn't look good in his last outing. You know what I'm saying? Although he's underrated in the skill department, he's not a fighter that's incapable of having a bad performance, as we've seen in his first title defense. And if he comes out and comes out flat and lackluster against Plant, he would definitely clearly get defeated and get embarrassed um, in this fight. I think this is a true 50-50 fight. I can see either guy winning um, by, you know, Ugatage by stoppage, Caleb Plant by clear decision. You know what I'm saying? But I think this is going to be a, a close split decision. I think that Caleb Plant going to do just enough early in um in the later rounds he gonna befuddle um and confuse um ugatage he's not gonna let him get in the rhythm he's gonna have to reset on his punches and that's just gonna take him out even further than his game plan and i think that caleb plant is gonna win a split decision to become the ibf super middleweight champion uh and that's my prediction man if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this breakdown prediction video, please be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn those notifications on so you'll be notified every time I upload content. Uh, shout out to the movement and everybody that is moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be. Go like the Three Kings Boxing um, Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at Three Kings Boxing. And just support the movement, man. I'll be back with y'all Sunday night to recap 
Jose Ugatage, Caleb Plant, and what we hope to be a terrific fight. And again, I will post the interview down in the description box below that I did do with Caleb Plant this past weekend. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys enjoy um, that interview and the fights. Until next time, I am out. Peace.